Now let's get another check of that forecast with our Dan Sianka. Dan, you know, you're here with us tonight. It's great to have you, but we could really use some rain. The drought is just getting worse. Yeah, well, unfortunately, you know, we're not in our rainy season, so all we can hope is to squeeze some drizzle out of the clouds, and actually there's a chance for that this weekend. We got some last weekend. We might see a little bit this weekend as well, so let's get into that forecast. Starting with a live look from Domenico's on the wharf tonight. It is a nice evening in Monterey. Very warm temperatures. You could probably still walk around out there with a light sweater. There's a bit of a zephyr of a breeze off the water at the moment. Otherwise, pretty calm conditions across the region under mostly clear skies. We've had a few low clouds. They remain just a bit offshore. The winds are expected to pick up a little bit during the day tomorrow. Gale warning is in place from Point Pinos down to Point Piedras Blancas, and that will last all the way through 3 a.m. on Sunday. So the winds will be picking up tomorrow afternoon. They were breezy today. They'll be windy tomorrow afternoon. Northwesterly onshore winds could get gusty at times. On top of seas of 8 to 10 feet, could con make conditions hazardous for mariners down along the Big Sur coast. Just keep that in mind. Skies mostly clear tonight. No high clouds out there, though, and a few low clouds just offshore. They did approach the peninsula tonight. We could still see a skiff of low clouds around the peninsula, but generally overnight tonight, before these northwesterly onshore winds really pick up, uh, I'm expecting the drainage winds to kind of rule the roost. And what I mean by the drainage winds are the winds that come down the valleys at night and push down toward the sea, and they should keep the clouds at bay. So I'm expecting mostly clear skies to kick your day off on Sunday. Saturday. Now, things will be changing. You know, this ridge of high pressure that brought the heat today, and it was hot today, but we didn't break any records because it was also really hot this day in 2019. So uh, the records were pretty high for us to beat today, but it was still. 10 to 20 degrees above normal today. This ridge is moving to the east, and as a trough digs in off to the west, that will begin to cool us off as we head through the weekend. So tomorrow's still going to be pretty nice. The winds will pick up late in the afternoon. Temperatures will be warm, but not as warm as today. Many locations staying within 5 degrees of today's highs, though, so it's still going to be pretty toasty inland and on the coast still pretty warm. But things are going to change on Sunday. I'm expecting the low clouds to thicken up, and we could actually pick up some drizzle Sunday night. Here's future cast showing mostly clear skies overnight. As I mentioned, the drainage winds kind of taking over and keeping the low clouds offshore. But as we head through the day tomorrow, the daytime heating will start this pressure difference going on. It's going to heat up inland. We'll start pooling on that cool ocean air. And by the time we head to the afternoon, those northwesterly onshore winds are going to pick up. So the south and east shores of the bay, you're going to get that air conditioning kicking on tomorrow afternoon. It could get strong, in fact. So much cooler late tomorrow during the day on the coast. In fact, that moisture getting pushed ashore could actually result in some fog tomorrow evening along Highway 1 uh, south of Watsonville. So just watch out for areas of reduced visibility. Those clouds will thicken overnight into Sunday. And as I mentioned, Sunday night, we could actually pull some drizzle out of them. So a little bit of moisture potentially in the forecast. With that said, it's still going to be pretty toasty tomorrow, especially before those winds kick in. So if we look at the Santa Cruz Mountains, you can expect highs anywhere from 89 at the summit to 100 in Ben Lomond. And the lows overnight, not all that cool, especially up in the mountains. If you don't live in the valley bottom where that cooler air can pool, if you live up in the hills, we're talking lows in the upper 60s to low 70s overnight. So it'll be hard for you to cool your homes. It will be cooler tomorrow night, though, so there is some relief inside for you. Santa Cruz back to 83 tomorrow afternoon, 79 in Capitola. Watsonville and Salinas back in the mid-80s. Again, you'll be cooler late tomorrow afternoon with those onshore winds kicking in. Still reaching triple digits in Gilroy, close in Hollister. We're staying in the 70s tomorrow in Marina and Castroville. Over to the Peninsula highs in the low 70s in Pacific Grove, 80 tomorrow in Monterey and Carmel. Temperatures again warm earliest, earlier in the day before the onshore breezes kick in tomorrow afternoon and cool you off. And then down south, we'll see highs mainly in the 80s and 90s and a few spots in the triple digits still. So another hot day in our inland locations, but again, those temperatures will start heading downward. In fact, there's those mostly cloudy skies on Sunday. So Saturday's the pick of the litter this weekend. It will be the warmest, nicest day outside. Uh, it's not going to be cold necessarily on Sunday. In fact, the winds will be lighter on Sunday and it might actually feel a little muggy, but temperatures are going to be about 10 degrees cooler on the coast. And again, we'll have some low clouds out there. We could squeeze some drizzle out of them late. A little bit cooler on Monday. Northwesterly winds will still be strong and then it looks like we're going to warm up a little bit more on the coast Wednesday and Thursday. We'll have to watch those days. They could be similar to what we had today and tomorrow on Wednesday and Thursday, although that uh, the ridge coming in that period of time doesn't look quite as strong, so maybe within a few degrees. Inland area is also cooling down out of the weekend. It'll be partly cloudy on Sunday, but mostly just sunshine for our inland cities. Highs back to normal on Monday, which should be in the low 80s, but looks like it's going to get hot again midweek.